Hi, I'm Wija. I'm just looking at your logo designs. I did take a look at the um, JPEG files that you did, and they are high res. They're in CMYK, so those looked good. I just need to open up your your AI files. There's some PNGs in here that are not embedded. I'm missing some of your fonts. That's why I wanted you to outline your fonts, because when I go to open a file where if your computer has different fonts than mine, I, it ends up coming up with an error. Uh, this is a PNG file that I don't have, um, and then I'm missing Broadway, the font Broadway. So um, you probably had that on your computer, but I don't have it. I could potentially like search for Broadway uh, and try and download it if, if I can. Um, yeah, let's see. Gosh, go away. Um, let's see if I can get it. Oh, it's an Adobe font. Okay, I might be able to get to that. Okay, I'm going to open these back up. Um, so this is a PNG file still, I think. I don't think... Um, let me see. Let me put that back where it was. Dang, dang it. Sorry. I need to reopen that, I think. Okay. My computer's acting a little weird, but... Um, if I go to the color one, you can see um, your fonts. It would be nice if they were outlined. And the way that you do that is you can control click or wait. Let me ungroup this. Let me grab the, just the text box and then let's do create outlines down here. And it creates shapes instead of editable text. And then when I go to, if anybody goes to open this later on, it won't be missing fonts because it's no longer fonts. They're just, they're made out of, they're shapes now. You can see all the different anchor points. So I was hoping you do that on both your AI files. Um, so if you if it's grouped together, just ungroup it. I'm gonna have to close that. If it's grouped together, ungroup it. There's an ungroup button in the properties panel. Let's see, let me open this back up again. So this one isn't grouped though. And then I can just grab that text box with the black arrow and do create outlines and quick actions. That will create shapes of the letter forms no longer editable text. These are PNG files, I believe, and you just need to expand these um, or or maybe, you know, do an image trace of these. So you might have to go to Window, Image Trace, and just do black and white. And, um, and then remember, let's see, uncheck Preview and then push Trace. And then after you trace it, you push Expand. Since I'm missing the PNG files, my computer is not able to trace those images. They just look weird. But in, on your computer, you should be able to trace them so that they're no lo longer PNG files. Um, so you need to trace those and make them, um, you know, make them no longer tr PNG files, but traced images. Um, this all looks okay. You know, you created a T inside of this shape. So I think this looks pretty nice, actually. If you want to use the Shape Builder on this, you can click and drag over all of this with the black arrow tool. Get it all selected at the same time. This is the Shape Builder, so you can create different shapes. There's an extra little thing here that I think we just need to delete. So I'm going to grab the white arrow and just push delete a couple times on my keyboard. And you should be able to see that these are now separate shapes. So if I do want to maybe just fill in these shapes, I can after I use the Shape Builder tool to click those in, I can, you know, swap the stroke and the fill color um, pretty pretty easily. And actually, I might still, if I push Shift on my keyboard, I can get multiple shapes selected, and I can still put a black stroke on this so that it matches up a little bit better. Um, if you wanted to fill that in, you could do that, too. Um, you kind of did it on this one, but you just filled in the whole shape. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you could take the fill color out of that delete this because I don't, I'm not quite sure if that's supposed to be there, but push shift on these and get them all selected. Actually, yeah, you might want to do it with the black arrow and then grab the shape holder and you can add in different shapes and they turn gray. But so you can grab this. We can just fill that in with black. We'll fill this shape in here with black, maybe. Maybe do the same thing with this shape and fill that in black and then maybe the T shape. And get a hold of that can be red. 
um, and that might match this underneath. And then I would suggest tracing these as well, doing the image trace. There's usually an image trace button in the properties panel, and then after you do, you know, that, you can push expand. Um, it looks weird on mine because I'm missing the PNG files that made up the, um, made it up, but let's see, what is your artboard is three by three. That's correct. So you have that set up correctly. So really you just need to outline your fonts by clicking on the fonts and going to create outlines and quick actions in the properties panel on both of these files. And then you can use the shape builder tool if you want to, um, you know, make this T look a little different for training. Um, and then I would suggest outline or image tracing the images of the um, two arms that you have in there. Cause right now, they are um, PNG files. So your grade's not going to be totally awesome unless you go in and make these improvements. And if you make these improvements and, and return in the file before uh, Thursday evening at 11.30 p.m., then you should be getting an updated grade. All right, talk to you later. Bye.